Everybody, what's up? It's Potch here, and we're playing Mass Effect again. Uh, like I said, um, as we play, I might have to like sort of jump from, uh, from from you know from level to level, from story to whatever. So we did, we did make a huge jump. Our shepherd is now male. Our shepherd now has had a sex change. Nah, I'm joking. This is uh, my other, my other save file, and because uh, I, I usually play it just to like sort of rush through things, and then um, right yeah, on. let's just let's just hold up here for a while. Let's just stay in the, on the ship for a while while I explain a few things. It w it'll take like five minutes, and um, so yeah, there will be a lot of spoilers. So if you guys are like watching my other video and you haven't like seen the game yet and you you just want to sort of uh you know watch watch it along with me without any spoilers and stuff you know as we go along chronologically so you might as well want you might want to stop watching this now and go f with the other video because this one's more of like a, a uh what should we call it like a a build feature so we're just gonna like test it on a few where the fuck is vetra again ah shit i forgot ah, here she is and wait you know what no let's not do vetra let's just go straight into the the thing into the story because the, actually the story is the only it's the only way you can actually really test the builds by doing the stories because the the random creatures that you find on the planets aren't really that powerful so you have to actually be in a quest and fight some like for instance a boss it's just to you know test how effective your abilities are <coughs> so yeah all right and we're gonna check out so we're gonna go into it um we're gonna check out our skills and stuff i'm using the um so this is like a full guide not really a full guide it's like half baked at this well at level 40 yeah it's still half baked although level 40 at level 40 you, you pretty much have like all sorts of skills already so like I said in my in my original in my I don't know what do you call it canon on my can videos um, I was I wanted to make like a, um, a a Mecromancer sort of build and so I, it went this actually went through a lot of changes and um, we ended up with a sort of Mecromancer build and I wasn't able to put enough like points into the tech tree because I was so focused on this character because on this character I was so focused on the biotics see you can see look I placed so much ability uh, points into biotics although we can uh, respec but I've already respect like five times and it gets really expensive <laughs> each successive time you respect your shepherd so I guess that's why they uh, they give you so many points so that you, there's like there's sort of room for mistakes, and you also might notice that some of the some of like this passive, although it's a passive, but still, it, um, it's not maxed out at six levels because it's kind of like a waste of points. That's six points to spend at max level. So if you don't need it, like this one, I didn't take the level five and level six. Uh, rank skills whatever you put them because if you don't really need it then you don't need it right i mean uh, i'm still trying to figure out what the tech area of effect radius is i've been looking up online what 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 applies it what what where it applies like if it if applies onto the tech combos because if you're playing if this build the the sentinel construct whatever engineer biotic engineer build um it's a lot of tech combos you rely on a lot of tech combos and that's i i i had to sort of like and since um leveling leveling's not really that hard it's just it takes a lot of time and um the enemies kind of scale as you level up so they get stronger as you level up as well uh so yeah i don't know what these like tech effect duration um I guess I like I don't know if that that applies to the remnant, because um, I talk recharge speed for this 
guy thinking that the recharge speed was for its um you know its attack its electrical beam although it is but i'm just i'm not really 100 percent sure the descriptions on these skills are pretty vague and uh, you, you sort of just have to figure it out on your own and learn from from you know just trying to notice things and see what they do but i think it works or either either that or the the this remnant vi actually has um a uh, fast attack speed or whatever fast recharge speed because they have normal skills and then they have these like electrical beam skills they also have the detonating missiles so um it's kind of hard to tell what the the cooldown well like this one says missile frequency is every 10 seconds uh th that's pretty long actually but it's a trigger that it's a combo definition and uh, this one doesn't really say what its uh, frequency is for electrical beam. It just, whenever you're, like you see it shooting electrical stuff, then there. And it's it's a it's a per chance thing, by the way. So well, as we're getting into it, since you're using this to prime your enemies, um, it's a per chance thing. Uh, so you you're gonna want to have the um, this priming, so it gives it like a 100% priming rate. And so it's it's 100% sh sure that if it electrifies the the creature or whatever the alien, you can you can blast it with your combo ability, which is the lance. Uh, I'll show you right here. Um, where's the lance out here? See, so the lance can detonate stuff. So uh, what I did was I went into the uh, pure damage and I forsook this shield which I think is a mistake because um, in this game you can have profiles right so you can switch between them and that's what I actually do so when I'm fighting up because it's more fun to like throw people across the map and hit each other so what I do is I have uh, two profiles uh, for now at least for now I plan to have like three profiles so I have uh, although some of these are like duplicates and some of them are like experiments um, like for instance this one's an experiment I tried to experiment with the backlash ability and the the uh, the remnant my remnant build so there's like I said there are a lot of versions of this remnant build build so th my primary one is the biotic at least for this save file uh, the primary one is the biotic it's the you know the the kinetic kind you charge people because I don't like using my gun so much to so charge people then you lift them you pull them then you throw them to other ones and I am also on a like quick cooldown thing so um, they're oh shit no I pressed X um, I always make that mistake anyway we can we can just fix that later on um, so yeah that's why the kinetic master is at the highest and the sentinel is at the lowest and um, so yeah you're gonna want to have the guardian warrior for the build the the remnant build and just a little side note this build's not really it's strong it's just it's not it's it's it is strong it really is because I use it to defeat the bosses <clears throat> I use it to defeat those I, ah jeez I forgot what they're called the 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 what are they called the 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 alien dudes who have the force field and the little ball thing that protects them that applies the force field so yeah this build is really really strong if you're using it to defeat those guys but this build's pretty weak um if you're going to use it against uh, the regular people it's not well, it's relatively weak because you have to take them out one by one and you have to wait for your combos to prime uh, for I mean for the for for your remnant to attack someone and prime them and that's one of the reasons why because in my previous builds as you saw I have a uh, backlash maxed out um, you, you, you guys are probably gonna see very little gameplay into this only when we start testing the, the showing you the test of the build and how how well it works so most of this is just gonna be talk and the the skill points on screen so as I, I was saying, um, we didn't have the assault turret. We didn't have this little guy. Um, but he in my first build, 
of uh, like my first test for this build I did have the assault turret I just had respect because I wanted to see how it would work with the backlash having just the lance the remnant VI or is that remnant 6 anyway VI I think I think PB says VI Peebles and uh, with backlash but apparently backlash doesn't protect you from everything it's like some some of the guns I don't know if it's a bug or something in the game but some of the the weapons actually go through or it's either they go through or or the shield doesn't protect you like from your feet up above it probably protects you from your head all the way down to your torso but your feet could get completely neglected and if your enemies are shooting at your feet I don't know if the AI in this game is that smart to think of shooting at your feet but that's what's happening some of the attacks are actually going through and um, even with the shield on so that's kind of stupid um, or maybe I'm I'm misinterpreting the the shield it says generates a frontal biotic aegisphere that reflects most projectiles and reduces the oh I see so it so it's not a real shield oh shit okay that was my bad it reduces the damage of other enemy attacks a well-timed initial activation interrupts really oh jeez so that's what it was okay so it's not like a full I was okay that makes sense now oh boy I wasted some skill points here all right. Anyway, this new, this other build, my original build, <coughs> was a full construct. I like to call it a full construct build, and um, so it's a remnant VI, and we're using the assault turret. What I love about the assault turret is that you can just th throw it in the middle of everywhere, of a, a cluster of enemies, and then detonate it immediately. But one of the reasons why I wanted this assault turret is because um, it, it, this game has like a good mix. Once you get to the higher levels, th it has a good mix of uh, the enemies that you encounter have a good mix of armor and shield attackers. So that's why, um, like, I got the sh the lance. I'll, I'll show you how I s uh, what do you call it? specialized it. The lance, um, I should have probably gotten the shields, but uh, the anti shield thing. But anyway, the shields aren't much of a problem because uh, you have your remnant. And your remnant's pretty strong to, you know, sort of just like destroy. Uh, especially if you have this one, the electric beam, uh, to dest destroy it. It's got shield damage bonus and synthetic damage bonus, so you you won't have much problem going up against the remnants, but or enemies that have shields and stuff. But for armor, you have a real problem right there. Um, because the, your remnant will have almost no damage against it unless you like you rely on the priming and comboing and stuff which is okay but uh, anyway you, you really what you want is the most efficient way of killing things in this game so um, uh, in my other build before I respect I had it all the way I had this assault turret all the way up to flamethrower and flamethrower is strong against it, it, armor. It does bonus damage against armor. And since you can, you can kind of like throw your this this little guy into whatever you want, to wherever you want, and you can just detonate it and then throw it back in. And the cooldown's pretty quick. I mean, I didn't get this the 50% turret health because it's pointless. Because you're just gonna. I mean, if if you're your turret's about to die and you can tell if your turret's about to die because it starts you know sparking up and uh you know uh, the, w what are what a robot looks like when it's about to die so you can just detonate it and hope that uh, it does extra damage so what you want is recharge speed and then um you don't really want this because it you don't want your turret to be repairing um or i don't know if you want to if you f if you find a purpose for it then sure but you're gonna want the turret gun damage so that you can make the most of its life while it's alive and then ultimately go into flamethrower and this flamethrower is also a primer so if you like if you can if you see that one of the targets or you can actually control your turrets your constructs to attack a specific character a specific enemy and so if you see that a creature is on fire um, hopefully uh, normally it's uh, you want to aim have the your a turret um, aim for a, an armored 
an armored target. So when you fire, is it fire combo? I think it's called fire combo. When you use lance on on a creature that's burning, uh, it's called a fire combo. So it explodes and it does fire damage. So that damage does bonus damage to the armor, and that's what you want. Um, if you, there are other variations, but like I said, this build is for r people who love robots, who love to make use of it. Um, I actually, I actually also had an idea of like for lazy people who like to have you know the the emulation kind of thing. You know, if you if you've played Dota One, the old Dota, where um, was it Dota or anyway for, for Dota Two players, since uh, that's the the modern game now nowadays. Uh, it's sort of the emulation kind of build, the, you know, or what's it called? The Radiance build, yeah. The area of effect and such. I I will make one eventually. I just want to get through this game right now. Um, I'm, I'm rushing right through it because I, I want to see the ending before I start making all sorts of builds and stuff. And then we can play through it on my other save file. We can go through it all over again. Uh, well, at least I will go through it all over again. You guys will be going through it for the first time, or maybe not for the first time. Uh, who knows? But um, uh, th th that's what I was... Anyway, so I'm babbling. So my other build that I haven't planned was Invasion. So if you, are, if you guys already have the game, um, which you most likely might have, might do, might be, whatever, uh, because you're watching this video for the build, um, the other build that I had in mind was the invasion, uh, not invasion. It was the, um, annihilation build. Um, cause annihilation is like radiance. So it deals damage and it primes your enemies. So yeah, it does, it deals damage to enemies around you. And you know, if you combo that up with, um, invasion, which is kind of like, if you're familiar with Diablo three, the the souls the swarm or what's it called pestilence i think or whatever the 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 swarm i think whatever the 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 voodoo the witch doctor ability so it it kind of jumps to your enemies so if there's a cluster of enemies in an area it's really great for um you know taking out clusters of enemies so and it also weakens your uh it also weakens the enemy but if you want to i mean Wait, what does it do? Uh, by default, it grants a defense debuff of 25%. And you can increase it up to 35 with this enemy defense specialty. Or you can increase its uh, duration and uh, its spread so that it just it really spreads out. Duration now affects up to three enemies. Does it do damage as well? Yeah, it does 30% damage as well. Um, can you increase when an infected enemy falls below if your invasion triggers an explosion? Oh, well, this is cool. Yeah, we can get that. And, oh, fuck weapon damage. I don't care about weapon damage. Pro that's probably good if you're, like, playing on insanity. And you want to play this build. But, yeah, just for fun, if you're on hardcore or, or normal, I think this would be great. So it explodes. It, it, go it makes people explode. And so mix that up with uh, Annihilation and then Charge because you need a Gap Closer for sure. Yeah, you need a Gap Closer and um, probably we can be like a melee. We can mix it up with uh, Combat a little bit and get like uh, melee and uh, well, we don't really need the combo detonators. Um, yeah, we can get like... V uh, d resistance and stuff. Uh, martial arts, yeah, we can go for melee and then get like combo fitness so we it grants us maximum shields. Um, uh, sure, why not get this? Uh, we don't really have a choice to get, but we do have to get that uh, weapon loadout with capacity, low health damage. Woo! Well, this is pretty cool, yeah, but I think we'll want this region. Um, more ammo? All combat power cell capacities. Uh, what? One loadout, plus one loadout, what? Up to four weapons can be equipped at once. And carrying capacity, oh. Hmm. 
do we want uh, i don't see the purpose of another weapon because most likely if you're melee it's all all you want is your melee weapon uh probably a shotgun an smg and maybe a pistol but i don't think i mean there's there's a lot of ammo in this game so you probably won't be needing it and plus you have uh, the emulation the radiance effect so they'll probably be dead by the time you get to your pistol um so yeah maybe i don't know it's just for a safe keep or something or well um like i think the weapons they have like you can put like bonuses on them and stuff like if you're at full ammo and stuff so maybe you can yeah have uh an additional weapon in your loadout just for that effect i don't know if it if it's like i'm not really sure if it the 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 little the what do you call it, the mod modifications if they uh, or you could just go for clip size yeah i think that that's better whatever whatever works for you uh and then how about in cover will we be taking cover most of the time uh with this build uh probably low health damage 200 that's 200 man that's like huge and you don't really want to be into cover you want to get you want to like because i don't like uh anyway uh, that's for another video <laughs> uh let's focus on this one so yeah the way you play this build i really wish like i could because i don't have money i'm out of credits from all the from all the um whatchamacallit from all the respecting of skills so I can't really respect right now and show you guys what it is uh, with the thing so let's just hope that we level up enough times during this playthrough uh, where are we going journey to the meridian are there like any places that all right, so uh, we're gonna start the game, and uh, we're gonna do a story mission for it. So uh, if you don't wanna watch, I already showed you guys the the build. I did that first so that you guys can have like an idea. But now that we're going to the story, and you don't wanna see it, you don't wanna see the sp uh, get spoiled by it. Uh, turn off your screens close the window the or whatever close your app or something whatever you're watching it don't watch spoiler alert um we're, we're going I'm pretty far actually i've already hit meridian you probably don't know that if you haven't seen it yet if you're not that far into the story yet so yeah they make first mention of it though after your, what is it, your second? Um, if you're counting the first one with Shepard, uh, Shepard, Ryder Sr. If you're counting that first one on uh, Habitat 7. I just bit my tongue and it hurts. Ow. If you're, so yeah, if you count that one as the first one, your second one should be on EOS. So if you count, if, if they mention Meridian on EOS, yeah after your second one you know at first I, I hated the long loading screens for those but now I'm it's actually kind of a nice thing cuz I don't know I'm starting to appreciate it especially those scenes I don't know if you can like cancel it or if you can sort of skip it. I haven't tried really. All right, so we're off to the operations deck. After a high profile exile, Krogan are returning to the Nexus. So yeah, uh, if I can get like enough points into Annihilation and invasion, but that that'll be probably like fifty levels more. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm joking. Not fifty. Probably like twenty levels more. 
or 10 just to put all the points in uh, in order all right so we're supposed to talk to this guy excuse me pathfinder i don't know where else to turn my best friend's been missing since the revolts tell me he was involved with a woman who was exiled she obsessed over him and i'm sure she kidnapped him oh boy clingy How's girl don't buy it and don't care <laughs> they say most likely he went willingly um, okay, that whatever, is that's a distinct awesome. possibility. It was like no, let's just skip through it, because, I mean, I don't want to spoil myself just yet for the Wait, what the fuck? I thought we were doing the thingy. Priority, we're in, discuss your options of the Aren't you the path, aren't you a pathfinder, Mr. Sellers? No, you're not. Okay. Um, so where are the other pathfinders? Oh, Jesus. Where are they? Yeah. Oh, they're not here. They're out, they're outside? Where are they? They're all over the ship. Okay. Oh, docking bay. Okay. An expedition to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be a remnant in origin. Noted the starry scientist, Pelisaria Baseo. All right, Pathfinders, where are you? Don't tell me after you go off the ship again. Oh no. Okay, they're up here. Ah, uh, there's one. I oh, know there. Wait, what? Yeah, there's one. What's one doing in here in the tech lab? Oh, the Asari. Good to see you. Wait, no. working with Doctor Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Ghost Storm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. <laughs> it could buy you some time. Uh, sure, that's all I need. I can work with that. Just enough to give What's us What's with that Asari's mouth is up to you. movement? I can so handle weird. it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? Hear. We've been collating <laughs> gamma charts all day. <laughs> a risk comes with the job. Part of being a pathfinder. Yes. Except we... <laughs> Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not after this. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Ooh, I like that suit. I like Go her back. outfit. That that Asari's outfit's pretty hot. This is cat DNA. Are you sure the scan isn't contaminated? I'm certain, Professor. Um. Okay. So what do we do? Integrate Ghost Storm technology with Tempest to help other Pathfinders. All right, so yes, we parkour. Pew. We have to go to the tempest, right? We've had no trouble, Pathfinder. What do you mean, no trouble, Pathfinder? I wasn't asking for any trouble. Oh yeah, can we skip it? No, we can't. Yeah, no. Oops, I think I pressed the yeah screenshot. All right, integrate. How do we do that? I don't care about Vetra. Not now, Vetra. This woman, this Vetra, this Turian, they're so clingy. I fucked her once, and she won't let me go. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. All right. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. So I'll the call a meeting immediately. Meeting. Prepping VidCon communications. Is this it? Yep. Meeting. Whoa. How can we have two? Suvi has forwarded a distress call? Where did I get this? Oh, well, anyway. That's not what we're here the for. The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time. 
but we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order? That's what we do. I'm a pathfinder. We do def it's my job to bring us home, and that's what I'm doing, with or without permission. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the spirit. Oh yeah, I knew you'd like this, Drac. That's where the ghost storm technology comes in. Isn't that right, Hager? Exactly. Our forged signals should divert some cat from you. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The Tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right mm. behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan, team. Hager, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. All right, so... Yeah. Parkour! Go to key... what? Kitasira? The Civ key. Right then, let's go! Okay, where are you? Here we are. See, look at this, man. Look at all those planets that you can go to. All those c clusters that you can go to. As I said, I could be playing this game for ages. Playing it through with different builds and all that. The build diversity is so huge right now, so. And you can have like multiple builds in the one playthrough. Is right. This is the system. Meridian should be here somewhere. So whatever works, right? I mean, you can have like a close range profile. You can have an uh, adept profile. Of course, classic Mass Effect Honor players coach. will want to have Project just that skills. one. That one skill build for everything, because that's what they kind of got used to. That's how Dragon Age worked. That's how Mass Effect 1, 2, and I think 3 as well. I don't really remember anymore. That's how they all worked. Just one build. Ooh, what's this? That's it. That's Meridian. Ooh. Or Kitasira, as the cat called it. it. Looks like a giant space station. That looks like... Looks like a giant shuriken. That's what it looks like. A painful one with spikes all over. Then the conventional three-sided blade, uh, whatever, blades. Oh yeah, I forgot. So you're gonna want the scatter shot five or any shotgun really for this build, because um, it's centered around being you know c close range and stuff. Well, if you're using the adept, because since I have two profiles, one's the adept and then the other one is the s whatever. So that's why I have like the this shotgun. But if you're like, we can probably get the, um, we can probably get like the, where is it, the revenant, revenant six, put some uh, rifle damage, and uh, clip size, increase the weight, six percent rifle stability. I don't know penetration. Oh jeez, all these, all these mods. I don't know which one to use. Probably reload speed. Uh, yeah, sure. Cause we're not really like, we're not really reliant on. And then you want the Asari sword, cause this is like the best melee weapon in the game ever. You can like teleport with it. You're like some freaking ninja when you use it. Have I? Uh, is it? Do I have like a game? No. We'll see it. We have a. We're, you'll see it. You can t fucking teleport with this thing. You don't. You don't need the the explorer thing equipped. Oh yeah, which reminds me, I have to. I have to fix my profiles and stuff. Because I I I accidentally. It's working. 
Reading a bunch of Ket headed our way. Pulling back. It's all on you now, Tempest. We should get them as close as possible to here. Intense readings could be some kind of control center. Oh, Suvi, you're no so hot. Sites. This could get messy. How messy? Ryder, looks like a flyby is our only option. I'll get as low as possible, but you'll have to eject over the target area. An acceptable risk. No, I'm great at falling. I've fallen out of so many things now, I should be a pro. <laughs> Heard about your free fall to Habitat 7. <laughs> Liam said he could hear you screaming the whole way down. <laughs> Keep the buttons go around, huh? It's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. What's your rate of descent? Shield should take care of the rest. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So far, oh. so good. The cat haven't detected us. But once we go in, we'll be clear as day to any troops on the ground. All right, the shields will hold. The Tempest can take some shots if it has to. Some, not many. Oh, yeah, and, um... Should we go into equipment? You want to get into equipment? I forgot to, to explain what my equipment was. Uh, for armor, I chose the N7 for the biotic because most of the time I'm using the thing, the adept. So that's why I chose the N7 because it has a uh, recharge speed and you gain like a you get you gain like uh, biotic damage or biotic damage. All right, so skills to just fix it real quick. Um, what did I do? All right. Um, wait, biotics. Uh, pull is L. Throw is here. Uh, charge is here. And then we set up our profile for adept. And we set that to favorites. And we put it here. Great. Is this what we want? Ah, uh, uh, yes. This is what we want. Yeah. Alright. So let's just go into our favorites and. Click the build that we're actually. Everyone okay? What's this? I may be old, but my plating's still plenty hard. We'll need. The cat are really going all out to collect. Great. Should have got the tempest to drop us over there. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> uh. All right. How do we get over there? What do we do? What we gotta do? Come on. Scan through it. Ah, a console. All right. With Great. Console, I More of these the of uh, auto constructing thing. I've always like wanted to outrun these things and see if I could fall off. Most likely. However, the hub is dark. Deactivated. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, give us some Half enemies. Like we are looking at the central command hub I detected earlier. As with the monoliths and vaults. The wow. Hub is connected to the two neighboring towers. It's like a a city for the remnants. A remnant so city. Activating the towers will also activate the command hub. Update the mission specs and just activate Meridian now. Forgetting about the ket? Activating a vault has previously activated a purification field. Perhaps Meridian is similar. Let's head to those towers and see what we can find. We can deal with the ket. Don't worry about the ket, man. All right, so let's see how this works. Ooh, that's loud. Ooh, okay. Pathfinder, interfacing with that console has activated a gravity well. So how are we? A gravity well where? Oh, okay. Wow, I feel really small right now. <laughs> You've discovered a new galaxy and you still don't feel small? Pathfinder, I'm picking up radio interference. All right. A cat signal. Cat. Alert! The detected signal was a decoy. Key to zero has been infiltrated. Let's go, cat. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Focus on incapacitation. Activate my baby boy. And oh, we got an invisible creature. Oh shit. Boom! Tech combo. Bratatat. Boom! Tech combo, brat that that. All right. Um, I, I have to. I seriously have to just 
All right, so we can't do anything without our shield because um, for some stupid reason, I got the... Explode, damn you. Oh, shit. Where are you coming from? Ah, there. Attack that thing. Wait, what are you attacking? Oh, Get fuck. Oh, stuff. shit. You oh, shit. What? All right, my bad. I didn't know that there was this liquid fluid thingy on the side. So... Good news is, is we get to go into it again. So yeah, like I was saying, this this tech build is mainly for the boss. It's like for... It's mainly for the boss, although you can sort of like... Alright, throw it up there! Ah. What? Oh shit! Where are you? Not doing a very good job of showcasing. All right, come on, you. Stay away from that stuff. You figured that out, quick. All right, let's uh teleport blade. Ow, 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 ow! What's what's killing me? Ow. Combo. Ow, fuck. Reinforcements. That thing really hurts. It does. Ow. All right, we're out of shields. Great. So, Pathfinder, left or right? I don't know. Why are you asking me that shit? Um. Why are you? All right, there. Combo. Attack this. Combo! Combo! Alright, where's the thing? Why aren't you coming out? Now you really want to get behind cover with this build because um, without your shields, you're useless, actually. Which is my mistake, because I right, think... so command hub. Probably need to check out those other two towers first. What other two towers? Although it's great, because now you don't have to wait for the cooldown on the lance. And uh, you can kind of like combo... Look at that. On... You can like combo on demand, or whatever it's called. Alright, so where are the cat? They're landing. Come on, you bitches. Uh, uh, uh. Where? Where? Oh shit. Ah, oh, see? Now this is perfect. Attack this bitch. <laughs> Combo! Shit. Shit, shit. Combo! Alright. Ah oh, shit, again. I fell into the, the massive pit of doom. Ah, no shields. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Help me. Help. Help. Where are my mates? Com oh, not combo. Oh! Combo! Ah, oh, shit. As I said, you're useless without the shields. That's why you need a lot of shield regen. Attack it! Combo! Alright, so it's just the big guy now. Ah, oh, shit, he destroyed my thing. No! Mortimer! <laughs> Ow. Combo! Ooh, fire combo. That's group. That was cool. Ow! I'm dying. See, look how angry that bitch is. Look how angry he is. He's so mad. Combo! He's so angry. Come on, do it again. Combo! Ooh, fire combo. Keep it up. We take them down. We take Meridian. Okay, which way? Because we're out of health. This place is a labyrinth. You sure we haven't been this way? 
So in a way, it's it's kind of like a, a risky gameplay. We're out of shields. This isn't going well. Combo. Ow, 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 ow. Combo. And it's actually for this reason why I would prefer um, if you had. Oh no, my baby. What's it, what's his name? V or I forgot the name of the creature. Peebles named it, not me. People named named the thing. Tainer. Which way? I wonder if there's a broken ammo processor somewhere that's causing this downpour. I am lost. Stop. Gotta be getting close to one of those towers. I are activate both to reach Meridian's core. I are lost. Is it this way? Oh shit. Bitch. Uh, I think it's this way. Oh! Combo! Teleport attack! Let's light him up! Whoa! Combo! Teleport move! Alright, let's jump right in! Yeah, level up. That's a lot of cat equipment. Looks like they set up camp. Which way? Ah, we got more cat up above. Heavy ah. artillery, watch out! I detect working remnant technology. We could turn that against them. Come on, come on. Detonate! Alright, my rim my remnant's down. Teleport attack! Boom! Ow! Alright, we got my remnant back up. Oh shit, what is that? Ow, ow, ow. Hold up, hold up. Boom! Explosion! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Fuck! Smash! Oh shit. Peebles! Oh wait, uh, where are you? Oh, ow! Uh, it's turning into a cluster fuck. Come on! Uh, we're out of shields! Combo! Uh All right. Fire combo. All right, so we can destroy it. mastermind. What the fuck? Destroy this. Hurry, it's coming our way. Mastermind. What do you mean mastermind? Combo. All right. We we got everyone. I think that's the last of them. For now. So yeah, it can get kind of messy with this build. It's just you gotta keep like aware a little bit of awareness. It's you're not as tanky as you're supposed to be, like with my other cause um so now that you sort of you got like a glimpse of what this build could be. Um it's not yet perfect because <coughs> sorry, it doesn't have the flamethrower turret yet. So we're going to show you this uh, since we're up against <gasps> not again. So we're, we're since we're going to go up against um the since we're up against the cat uh I guess it's safe to say that we can use this 
build because the other build the the biotic engineer as i like to call it is great for if you're up against remnants machines and stuff or enemies that have like a bunch of uh shield or floating enemies who are who are floating basically yeah because um i mean if they're floating you can't really throw them you can't really grab the hold of them with your biotic powers because they're already floating so if you're up against the the, the cat or the the humans or the the people of the civils the 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 citizens of andromeda then you you might as well just stick with the adept build but if you're up against the cat th uh the i'm sorry not the cat the, the remnants the floating people the machines pattern one three viability 56.2 percent genetic template transmitted might as well testing. just use the the engineer one were they performing experiments on them running an analysis on the glyphs these bodies are prototypes from genetic blueprints, each more refined than the last. Using Meridian, they designed a species that would live in this cluster. The Angara. There is nothing in the Angaran records that hints at their origin. Oh shit. Where they come from doesn't change who the Angara are now. They're still the same people. So Meridian is not just about terraforming. It's capable of creating life. But why do something like this? I can say nothing about the Remnant Builder's ultimate purpose. They made life. What if the Archon could use Meridian to destroy life? That's exactly what I had in mind. Helios is home. For the Angara and for us. Together we can stop the Archon from destroying it. We'd better get to those controls. Is this like the boss fight? Is this the final like end? Because my completion rate, the game completion says 50%. And if <laughs> if I'm doing if this at 50%. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Remnants! See like this. For instance. See? You can't really like you can't throw them around. Oh, so I guess I changed I think I guess I changed profiles at the wrong time. So we're gonna need this now. Bam! So I, I guess I changed profiles at the wrong time because um, how do we the unlock Archon this? Right. Knows about the Yangara. That's gotta be why the Keter is. So this is like a, the perfect situation that you want to be using this build. When you're up against the uh, bosses, when you're up against uh, the remnants. It's working. has gone. It was hiding something though. So this is how it's supposed to look when everything is working. I don't like One the look of that turret. Running. One more to get the hub going. Uh, how do we disable that turret? Blink strike! Did anyone actually live here? Or was this just their giant terraforming lab? Ket, come on. I wouldn't like to live here. So, ah, see, this is per- wait, what? That turret is attacking that ascendant. Oh no, it's a mix. All right, well this is also a good opportunity to show you guys how to use this build. This is looking ugly. We're in trouble here. Tech combo. All right, attack that bitch. Tech combo. Ow, 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 ow. All right, we need to regenerate our shields. Um Take him out. Is something up there? I need you. Tech combo. Alright, so this is 
This is perfect. Like when you're up against bosses, you just have them attack the, the orb. Since they're automated, the orb moves right. It moves around and it's kind of hard to target. But when you tech combo it, you can do massive damage like that. And but then when you're out of shield, uh, that's the end of their shield. And then since then it, it generates again, right? It, it generates the orb again. And then you just tech. Oops, sorry. Tech comp. Wait, why isn't it tech comboing? Tech combo. Anyway, it, you're, you're doing a ton of damage regardless. So. Ow. Ooh. Bitch. Alright, um... Throw that down there. Then yeah, I know. I know it's kind of boring. It's a lot of... It's a lot of hiding behind stuff. Because you're shield defended, right? Tech combo! But it deals a lot of damage! Look at that! Boom, boom, tech combo. And then, boom. Oh, shit. Uh, we're out of shields. So you might want to, like, um... You might want to have, like, a... Spe spec your... Your rider. If you want to, like, main this... Ow, fuck, that hurt. So if you want to, like, main this, uh... This build... You're gonna want to sort of specialize... Your your rider, I keep saying shepherd. Your rider with um, maximum shields, because you're really dependent on it. Since um, like you use your shields for all sorts of stuff, you use it to protect yourself, you use it to, and now you're using it as a sort of like resource. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we? Oh. Container? Oh no. What are we... What are we... Do we jump up? Um, what is it... Well, telling me... To do... I know. The city is huge. All right, console bridge controls. All right. That's the hub, but we need to get the other tower first. And you know, in a way, since like you can you can use the you can use this build for almost anything. Against almost ah oh, shit! What the? F a turret? Defenses everywhere, and they're all shooting at us. Just the way I like. It. Ow, 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 ow. Do they have assemblers? Oh no, it's just the turrets. It's just the motherfucking turrets. Tech combo. See, look at that damage. Oh, he fell into the oblivion. All right, um, you want to destroy that. Ah! We're out of shields. Did I just hit my own remnant? Out of shields, come on, shield regen. Regen. Yeah. You're the best. Oh, you destroyed my baby. Alright. So what was I saying? Ah uh, yeah. In a way. This build is a lot more superior to the the Sam, adept one. Intense vortexes of skirt. 
Ground Zero. Ow, ow. Pathfinder, it appears the energy waves from these craters contributed to the scourge throughout Helios. So whatever happened here 